hi guys uh, in this tutorial video I'll show you how to plot exponential signals I mean discrete time exponential signals I'll open new editor window CLC clear all close all CLOSE close all uh, exponential signals is defined as x of n is equal to alpha power n u of n uh, where alpha is the rate at which uh, the exponential signal is uh, increasing or decreasing n is the independent variable which is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity so therefore there are two parameters here one is alpha and the other one is independent variable n uh, let me define those two first I will define n is varying from usually it is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity but since we cannot reach infinite infinity uh, I'll, I'll start with minus 100 and n set and at 100 so what does this statement means n is varying from minus 100 to 100 in steps of 1 in the sense minus 100 minus 99 minus 98 dot 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 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 dot 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 up to 100 now I'll define alpha alpha is equal to 0 0.9 okay this is my alpha uh, we have a condition in alpha uh, saying that if alpha is greater than 1 uh, then the signal x of n is exponentially increasing and if alpha is in between 0 and 1 then the signal x of n is exponentially decreasing signal so in this case i have taken alpha is 0 0.9 uh, which will give me exponentially decreasing signal i'll define x of n now x of n is equal to alpha power n a l p h a alpha power n so you need to put hat symbol to get the power and I'll put semicolon and I'll plot, I'll plot this figure in a figure window figure of 1 stem stem for discrete time to plot discrete time signal x axis is n which is varying from minus 100 to plus 100 comma uh, y axis is a function of n which is xn uh, the thing is no uh, if I run this code I get an error let me save it exponential yeah uh, one argument must be a square matrix and the other must be a scalar uh, use dot power so I cannot use uh, just this hat symbol here I should use dot followed by an hat saying that I am taking power element by element uh, let me show an example uh, say x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, if I want to do x square if I just put x to the power 2 it shows me an error but if I put x dot to the power 2 it gives me 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square which is 1, 4, 9, 16 and 25 so whenever I put dot what does it mean in the sense that it is taking the power uh, if it is power of 2 element by element similarly if you put dot star it does multiplication element by element so accordingly I am giving as I mean it is giving me the error because of this so it is alpha dot power n I'll run it yeah so this is exponentially decreasing signal it started from minus 100 and it's ending at plus 100 uh, I can play with it so instead of giving 0 0.9 if I give 0 0.8 I'll uh, see the rate at which it is getting decreased yeah if, instead of 0 0.8 if I give 0 0.8 2 and still to run it yeah so, so this is what happening the rate of change is 
फिर देख सकते पॉइंट नाइन नाइन या सो दिस इज द रेट इट इज इंक्रीजिंग इवन आई कैन गिव फ्रॉम माइनस माइनस थाउजेंड टू प्लस थाउजेंड एंड आई रन इट सो माइनस थाउजेंड टू प्लस थाउजेंड सो दिस इज वॉट हैपनिंग सो वी कैन प्ले विथ इट सो इफ आई वॉन्ट एक्सपोनशियली increasing signal so i can give this as 1.5 alpha is 1.5 so it's it's an exponential decreasing uh, let me just show you in a clear view since i am giving 1000 it's giving 1000 so i am not uh, able to see that yeah, so this what's happening here is it's exponentially decreasing sorry exponentially increasing So this is how to plot exponential signals, discrete time exponential signals in MATLAB. Uh, one more thing I forgot to say: instead of plot, if you make it as, I mean, instead of them, if you make it as plot, P L O T, then uh, what exactly you are doing is actually you are you are, you are plotting a continuous time exponential signal. I will just show you this instead of point, uh, at the point n. Yeah, it's a continuous time exponential signal. So, we're starting from minus hundred to hundred. Uh, thanks for watching.